Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Dr. Sachin Aujha, Professor and Director of Research, and I am heading IPR cell of Chittara University. And uh, today, in this Vice Chancellor lecture series, I would be presenting in front of you a little about how to file a design patent. And to set up the context, first of all, I would like to tell you a short story behind this lecture. So uh, last month, I was preparing for one workshop on patents and I made a PPT, a comparison chart where filing a design patent and filing a utility patent. So there was a chart in it. That PPT and that lecture was attended by our Honorable Vice Chancellor also. And after looking at that, she suggested me to separately make a presentation on design patents itself. And I should present that presentation in Vice Chancellor lecture series that was suggested by Vice Chancellor Madam herself. Also, she, she suggested me that I should include Tarun Purana ji, who is our patent attorney. And uh, in this presentation itself, so that we can address more and more queries from the uh, participants who would be joining this presentation. I would like to introduce Tarun Purana ji also. So Tarun ji has 17 plus years of experience in field of intellectual property rights. He has completed his uh, B.Tech in Computer Science from Pune University, then he went for Masters from Bits Pilani, and then he did his MBA from IIM Lucknow. After that, he was a co-founder for uh, Kurana and Kurana IPR firms, and uh, the name of his firm is IIPRD. It is uh, an MNC now. They have uh, nine offices in India and abroad also in Vietnam, USA, Singapore, Malaysia. And uh, this all has been set by Tarunji himself. So we are glad that he has joined hands with us and we file patents for Chitkara University. So our IPR cell aptly name as OPFLC, that is Office of Patent Facilitation, Licensing and Consultancy is working in sync with IIPRD and we are filing patents for Chitkara University. Deepji, I would like you, if you could unmute Tarun Kurana ji also, because at times if somebody asks queries, Tarun ji will also address those queries. So moving on to next slide. We have filed 364 patents till September 2020. As I already told you, this is the presentation which I made a month ago. Today, we are sitting on 450 plus patents for Chitkara University, Punjab itself. And university has been ranked in top 10 universities for filing patents in 2015, 16 and 16, 17. In the volume, the numbers of filing patent have increased in 18, 19 also, and also in 19, 20. But now we have made a special purpose vehicle for filing patents that is known as CIAF, as per the suggestion by Tarunji. And we are filing patent under CIAF now. So we are sitting on 450 patents till date. This is a short brief about how we are progressing in filing the patents for Chitkara University. These all patents are filed by the students, staff, faculty members of Chitkara University itself. We very humbly started in 2009. I was not there in the system. I joined in 2014. So in 2009, Chitkara University filed one patent, which has been granted now in 2020. In 2013, we have filed two patents. And then in August 2014, we started our Office of Patent Facilitation. And we were successful in filing 11 patents. 
and now you can see that curve is going on in 15 27 in 2016 31 the major stakeholders and major filing initially was from students in 2016 17 after that the driving force behind filing patents was from our faculty members as you can see from this graph the awareness has also increased and also the system has become sustainable since everybody is now aware of patents how to file the patents the policies have been set filing patents have been included into research promotion and incentive policies also so the this has been directly linked to the performance and the faculty has come forward now in filing patents and hence the number has increased now this is a very what i should say in an interesting comparison between the designs filed and utility so this comparison is of 364 patents out of which we have filed only 66 designs and 298 utility here the difference which i would like to highlight and i would like to make everybody understand in very simple terms is that there are two different aspects of getting an ip in your name and as the title of this presentation or the topic of this presentation is filing designs and putting an ip under your name in an easy way so filing design is very much easy less time consuming and less costly so i would like to differentiate between design and utility patents first so when you are making an invention and that invention involves your technical knowledge and that invention is novel and has an inventive step which is not obvious by obvious we mean if somebody says ki you are doing a particular work and you tell the process of completing that work and that process comes out to be obvious then you cannot file a patent for it the process or that work should be such that it involves a technical knowledge which was unknown earlier it should be novel then you can file a patent same thing happens with design but in a different manner while filing designs what we do is it is all related to aesthetics of a particular system so if we want to differentiate between a utility and design i will give you a simple example so somebody in initial times come up with a concept that when you want to cook a food if you want to cook it early you can put it into a vessel where the pressure can be maintained so what they did is they took a big vessel closed it from the above and tighten that lid with something and when they started cooking the food was cooking early because from under it was heated and from inside that steam pressure make it cook early so they came up with a concept of pressure cooker so somebody who initially invented a pressure cooker would be filing a utility patent now we all know that at times the pressure in the cooker increases so much that it requires to be released and that is released by that whistle so initially that whistle was on between on the cap of the pressure cooker now there are cookers which have different designs of that whistle which are more handy so somebody put that whistle on the handle itself where you can just give up press by your finger and that pressure would be released so now this particular concept 
which has changed the design of already existing thing and that change is making it better can be filed as a design but not as utility because the novelty is already destroyed so the cooker when first invented was filed as a utility and after that whenever we are file whenever we are doing some changes in the design to make it more efficient to look better the aesthetics of it are changed we will file a design for it so as you can compare yourself that filing a utility is much more difficult than filing a design also when we talk about granting of patents see we have filed 364 patents but we have been successful in getting grant only of 17 patents out of those 17 15 are design patents and only two are utility so when we compare this the rate of acceptance of getting granted of a design is much higher than rate of acceptance of granting a utility patent and that is the catch in this particular lecture what we wanted to share is that when filing a design is easy when getting a grant for design is easy then we should proceed more towards filing of designs this is the ratio itself we filed 66 design patents and out of that 66 15 were granted whereas we filed 298 utility patents out of that two are only granted till date so this is the difference which i would like to share with all of you and this is the cost so the blue ones shows the cost of a design and the red one shows the cost of utility so the first thing which i would like to tell and which i have already told you that now we are proceeding for filing all the patents from our special purpose vehicle that is cair so these cost are reduced ones actually the cost are much higher but this is the reduced ones so filing a design cost us 7000 whereas filing a utility cost us 9600 then we talk about examination so during examination we have to pay only 3000 for a design whereas for utility we have to pay 22000 same is during grant we have to invest 30000 more in filing a response and attending the hearing whereas in design there is no need of that after that when a patent is granted there is a difference design does not require maintenance fees to be paid whereas utility requires 3 lakh 96000 maintenance fees for 20 years that is lifetime for a utility patent so when we calculated this one patent cost 4000 to the university whereas one design costs only 10000 and they have equal weightage in terms of external bodies related to university for example nag and arya and here itself in university research promotion and incentive policy they have equal weightage and cost is as you can all see on the screen it is very much reduced so now i would be focusing from here only on designs there may be some legal terms which i suggest you listen 
if you do not understand you can always connect with me i'll let you know but i have tried to make this very simple so that everybody attending this can easily take it so design registration in india is governed by design act 2000 and design rule 2008 it covers aesthetic aspects of the products and protects the way product is perceived by the consumer only this line can tell you that it only protects the way product is perceived it is not at all related to the functional aspects of the product hence while filing a design what we take care of is how that product looks so these are some facts about design registration in india so these facts are taken from annual report 2017-18 which is published by indian patent office itself so the pendency in examination of new application continued to be around 1 month as compared to the utility patent having average of around 3.5 years this is the biggest bottleneck in indian patent office as i have shown you in earlier slides that we filed a patent in 2009 utility patent and it got granted in 2020 although each and every step required from our side or attorney side was taken on time still to get a grant of a utility patent took us around 10 years and this pendency is not because that we are lagging somewhere it is in the system itself whereas filing of design application takes only around one month in some cases it may increase but average is one month you file a design and you get a grant and the total duration will be somewhere between 1 to 3 months also nowadays filing of design application has been increased in india to 16% approximately and number of registered design increased by 21% as compared to 2016-17 so there is a progress this report was of 2017-18 2018-19 report was not published till date but as the trends are showing the number of design registration is increasing day by day so we should also take leverage of this we have a sound system in place at university itself we have our attorneys who are good enough to support us in every field so why not we should increase the innovation index of our university in an easy way for filing a design what is an eligibility i have already highlighted some of them that idea is novel but it is not technical i have just changed the aesthetics and i only want to protect how it looks it is not about technical or functional aspects it is about how i perceive the particular product so this is the eligibility for a design at times people come up and they bring something which is not novel but the novelty lies in the way they are making it they are designing it so i always suggest them to file the design patent all the design patents which have been filed till date although i am using a wrong vocabulary design patents but i have to use it because i have to explain you all actually it is only called design so all the designs which we have filed today till date they were submitted as a utility patents but when i performed the prior art at our end i found that they are not suitable to be filed as a utility and i converted them into a design so if anybody of you want to know the suitability of your idea you can directly approach me and 
accordingly we can decide the way which we have to go forward so what are the requirements for filing a design so the requirements for filing a design that it should be distinguishable from the non designs by word distinguishable i would like to say that there are designs which look quite similar to one another but still there are some particular aspects of that product which make them different one of the best examples of a good design which i have encountered in my life is uh, maruti swift initially they wanted to introduce a new segment of cars that was a middle segment from alto and wagonar and between maruti 1000 they wanted to introduce a new segment and they changed the design so what they did is they extended the bonnet of that car it itself is a design you can register that as a design so everything is same engine was same if some of you have that car so the engine cc power everything all interiors were also same of that car only the difference was how it looks and that was filed as a design second thing is whatever you are filing it should not be obscene or scandalous it should not be a mere mechanical contrivance it should be applied on an article and appeal to the eye so while filing a design you can come up with a new design of a chair new design of a furniture new design of a jewelry anything which appeals to your eye can be filed as a design it should not be contrary to a public order or morality and it should not be prejudicial to the security of india here i am writing india because we are talking about only indian patent office these are very general uh, what i should say requirements and uh, most of the designs which come up are following these so there is no need to worry about all this only thing is it should be distinguishable from the known designs now this is an example slide to show that how we file a design patent as you can see that there is a perspective view top view bottom view left right front and rear view as i have already told ki anything which we want to file as a design we want to highlight the way we perceive it so to see a thing is possible in only these seven views so whatever design you are coming up with whatever product you are coming up with to file as a design you have to make you have to bring that product itself or if not a product you can make the drawing as you can see on the screen these drawings are made from the computer aided softwares and lot of them are available online also we have a system in place where we can help you with making a design in tesla under idc mr sagar juneja we have persons who can support you for making the designs so no need to worry about how you will convert your idea into the drawings that we can help you out so while talking about these view i would tell you that you have to perceive your product as a as a thing and you have to give these six different views and one perspective view of the product so this design was filed by me so that's why i have put it on the slide so this was a design for a novel face mask frame where you can change the cloth 
of that frame very easily so nowadays we are using mask and uh, every day we need to change it so i came up with a concept that is this mask frame you can take the piece of cloth whichever shirt you are wearing or whichever suit you are wearing generally ladies take good care that it should be matching so you can have this frame you can put a piece of cloth whatever you feel like and it is easily adjusted in this frame and you can put it on your mouth as a mask so the views as you can see every view is on a white background this is the requirement of indian patent office you have to provide all the views seven different views on a white background and the drawing should be clearly distinguishable one more i would like to show you is with this view you have to give a description of the product it can be of nearly about 100 words you have to provide a description that includes the purpose of the product and name of the product the name itself should be such that it after reading that name you can come to know that what is the purpose of that particular product so as you can see when we gave this product we provided the name as low cost face mask frame after suggestion by our attorneys it was reduced to only face mask frame because cost while filing a patent is not a thing which needs to be considered so face mask frame i have given a description that it is face mask frame low cost plastic frame specially designed for covering the face where the cloth can be replaced easily by clicking the two latches after every use so this was the only thing which i provided the diagrams of the frame and this description and step third was to provide the name of the inventors which i have written on the screen itself and this patent was filed within 15 days so this is as simple as that in two slides i have explained you the process of filing a design at chitkara university in indian patent office you have to give six views you have to give a description you have to give the name of the inventors and everything is taken care by opflc and iiprd one more example i would show you this is a multi purpose plier with a hexagonal nut opening or closing provision so this plier everybody of us we have this at home so the main thing of this plier is that you can hold any nut and you can open it so what here has been done is we have given a hexagonal opening and closing provision on the plier head itself so now this can open the nut by using it either you can hold it or you can stuck the nut into the opening so this was the second patent now i would like to invite tarun ji to shed some more light and after that if somebody have some queries or questions which they want to ask they can ask i and tarun ji will be very happy to answer those questions those queries so this was all about how to file a design patent uh tarun ji kindly unmute yourself uh thank you sir sachin ji can you hear me now yeah sir can hear you yeah uh, thank you uh, for the session uh, sachin ji it was very helpful i'm sure for people attending it i'm happy i think i'll be better off if i can answer questions because most of uh, the process and the costing and all of that has been cleared off by you um there are no salient features just that a uh, few things that are important to be kept in mind uh, uh engineering drawings are different from the drawings that we have to submit 
uh, here as part of the design application. So a lot of times we receive engineering drawings where there are dotted lines to indicate uh, hidden part or uh, dotted lines to indicate the disclaimed part. But in India, we cannot submit any sub drawings with the dotted lines. So you have to be careful on that. If there are drawings which are uh, not consistent with each other, for example, one view is different from the other view, then also there is an objection. So we, if there are small variations in the product, one having a pin and other having a latch or a, a, a small, small changes that might happen, we will have to file separate applications for that. That's another thing that you have to keep in mind. Second, there should be nothing uh, apart from the article being protected that should form part of the filed application. So we cannot have some back background being shown or an object being kept on a table and table also being visible. So we have to ensure that it is just that article, like the figures that we all see here, that is visible, not uh, anything with another object. Or So if you're, for example, claiming a motorbike, you cannot have a person sitting on the bike and then a photograph of that submitted. It has to be just of the bike uh, or, or a part thereof. Also, it is to be noted that uh, designs only protect uh, what you have filed and not component thereof. So if you're, for example, again, coming to an example of a bike, you cannot, if you file a design application for a bike, you're, the whole bike as a whole will be protected, not a, a part of it. So for example, if it's an electric vehicle, then it has a battery uh, uh, sort of uh, cabinet. Now that battery cabinet per se will not be protected by the whole design application of the bike per se. So you will have to file a separate application for the battery cabinet. Um, so whatever you file, you only get protection exactly on that and not on the components or parts thereof. These are four or five things that I thought I'll sort of came to my mind. Uh, otherwise, I'm happy to answer questions, uh, Sachin ji. Sir, one question there which I generally encounter is people come up with a very raw handmade designs and when they convert it into engineering drawings, they are not so good looking. Well, by good looking, I would say that as you can see on the screen, this flyer, the front view, the back view, they both looks same. The right view, left view always looks same. Right. So it's still we can file it because when we see that the product in real, it would be the same from left and right, from front and back, it would be the same. Right. But at times we got rejections that the view is inconsistent. So how can we help in that? So inconsistent would automatically mean that there is uh, something in one view that is not there in the other view. So if we form, uh, if, if all the images are perfectly indicative of the exact view and do not have any dotted lines or do not have an, an extra line or a component or a part or anything, any external matter which is not there in the other view, you know, we will never have these objections. And even if they have, we will always, uh, design office is very flexible on uh, allowing us to amend their figures and uh, submit the revised figures so as to overcome. And sometimes they're okay with also three figures. We don't need to submit six or seven or four or five. So um, again, I don't think we need to be too worried about it, but the point is that we have to, like we have all the isometric views, uh, we have to make sure that all the views are consistent and there is no, there is no extra component or a line in one view that is not getting reflected in the other view. That is what, and in fact, the patent office also prefers three dimensional views. So they prefer the actual photograph of the article if that's possible. But a lot of academic clients don't really have the actual photograph because the product has not been prototyped uh, till then. And therefore, uh, engineering drawings are the ones that get submitted most of the times. But to the extent possible, if a photograph can be submitted, that's yeah, even better. Achha. Second thing, Tarunji, I would like to ask for the benefit of the audience itself is that, as you already said, that they ask for photographs, but it is not mandatory. That, that means that if you are not able to make a prototype and you have only submitted these engineering drawings, then itself it is sufficient to get granted. Oh, absolutely, no doubt about it. Absolutely. No that. So absolutely. that means for filing a design, we do not require to make an actual prototype, mm -hmm. but we require a, an engineering design, which is good enough to reflect all the views and all the aesthetics of a particular product. 
That's correct. Now I would like to hand over the questions to some participants. If somebody has, they can raise their hand and Deep Ji will unmute and they can ask the questions. Meanwhile, uh, Tarunji, I would also like to ask one more thing. Ki, there are some designs which we have filed, uh, say, for a long time ago. And there is a uh, line coming when we check the status online that it is in an amended state with controller. So what does that mean? So that means that the processing is going on uh, Sachinji, at the at the design office. That is the standard uh, that they have that once the application is filed and uh, they issue the examination report in about one to two months. And then when we file the examination report, then they say that the application is an amended state. It means that the reply that we have filed is being processed by the design office and that they will come back uh, either with an allowance of the design or they, they will give an opportunity for a hearing. Uh, which will either have to be attended if it's a minor hearing, which means that the objections are fairly formalistic in nature, then we can file the reply online directly. Um, we don't need uh, to attend the hearing per se. That's the discussion that we have with the, with the controller beforehand. But if the objections are substantive where they see that some other design has already been granted or there is some other issue, then uh, obviously we have to attend the hearing physically at, in Calcutta. And there is no need for the person who is an applicant for a design to attend the hearing in person. No, not at all. Attorneys do that work, sir. That is not required at all. It is all handled by the attorney side itself. That's so right. as Tarunji has told, so this is one more feature which I would like to tell you that for filing a design, we have to submit the views. No need of making a prototype. Second, we have to just give a hundred words description with the title of that particular product. And third is during a grant, we do not require to be present. Every legal aspect is being taken care of by the attorney itself. So this is the easiest way which I could think of about getting a IP under your name. I think Tarunji will agree with this. Oh, absolutely, sir. There's no doubt about it. So the purpose, the intent of this particular session is clear. Arranging this session in VC lecture series itself says that this is what is required from the end that we should increase the innovation index of the university. We understand that not everybody present can come up with a novel idea which is technical in nature and for which we can file a utility patent. Also filing a utility patent requires a lot of research. It has a lot of steps where very much input is required by the inventors side. It takes a lot of time and also it is a lengthy process. So why not to go with a process which is easier, which is short, which requires less effort and is giving the similar results in terms of our academic inputs. So this was all from my side. If anybody has some queries, they can personally call me or they can drop a message at my email ID. I would like to thank Tarunji for his valuable time. And the purpose here 
was to introduce tarun ji to the participants also was that we can have a viewpoint of our attorney about the patents and also our own viewpoint is shared with them and i hope everybody present in this session has now a clear idea about how to proceed for filing a design and to get an ip in your name thank you so much thank you everybody for joining this session thank, thank you sir thank you so much for sparing your time no no thank, thank you very much